yeah my audio was not uh, correct so i had to yeah because your voice was breaking a lot in between right. yeah okay so now what i am doing i am passing the change state modified function by saying hmm. this dot change state dot modify change state modified dot bind this and i am passing as change state modified to the main function now but why do we have that change state modified and why not on change like in line 96 because we are not uh, this is a component this is the input so we don't have on change method for the component okay so we need to only pass this function to the main component so that main component can take it in the form of props okay okay though we you will see on change is there for this one because input box can can have on change but yeah. the component cannot have on change functionality right right got it okay mm -hmm. so now once i pass this change state modified function then i can access in the main in the main uh, component i can access using this dot props dot change state modified right right okay now let's try it so this is my page i will main page and i will change my username mm -hmm. so once i am passing changing the username it is going first it is going here first it is going here mm -hmm. and then it is going to this part and this part exists in the app and it updates the state and then whole render is called again and you will see everywhere the john is changed right yeah okay. so let's try to do only one character i will put two so keyword is age new value is two and mm. the state value is changed to john age and gender so keyword is two it's written here keyword is this age mm. new mm. value is two and then we call this new modified function right is here and it updates the state once update the state is updated when the function is called again yeah i can change the name of this also for example xyz if i change this name though mm. i am calling change state modified from here since i change the name to xyz so in the main component i can say this dot props dot xyz xyz okay let's try this one again i am calling with xyz got it okay either you keep the name same or you can change the name it's up to you okay so this is the way we pass we create the uh, you know we create the function which will update the state from the app component from the main component to the app component okay so the change is made in the app and uh, right. it is displayed in the props in the main right, component right, right. Okay. so here we cannot change the props but we can create a function which will change the state from the app and then a render function will be called again and every component will get the new value as a prop right yeah okay so this is something we did we created the state and we pass it as a prop so now mm. you imagine if you have very big application mm. if you have only one app component mm. you have to write so many functions to update maybe i don't know maybe one component need different function to update some different value and next function will create next page component will need another function to update its values mm. or do something uh, different for the state so this right. component will become bigger and bigger and bigger and application will be difficult to maintain if you go only with react ah uh, yeah yeah so though we can build everything with the react uh -huh. but the size size of this app component will become too big to maintain it properly so if it is a small application you are doing with few functions then it is good to go with the react it's okay Okay. but if you have a very big application with lot of uh, functions lot of functionality mm -hmm. then react will be difficult to maintain though it's possible to do but difficult to maintain 
Right. So we will do first React only. We will do a couple of projects only in the React to learn the React. Correct. And then if we want to build the real project, we will use the Redux to grow the React project more. Okay. Right. So for a couple of projects, small projects, learning projects, I will show you in the React. So that you will know what exactly is the React. Yes. Yes. Okay. Then I will move to the Redux part. Okay. And all the new projects which we will do in the future will be in the Redux. Okay. Got it. So let's say we are in 10, 15 projects in the React. All mm-hmm. will be in the Redux. Oh, those 10, 15 projects will uh, will change to Redux. Okay. Yeah, we will do it directly in the Redux. Got it. A couple of projects we will do in the React to understand how the things move in the React. But huh. ultimately, we will do with the Redux all our projects. So is Redux completely different from React? Like I, you told me React and Redux are used hand in hand, right? Yes, both are different. Both have, have been developed by different companies. Huh. Uh, you can use Redux without the React part. And you okay. can use React without Redux part. But since in the React one, we need some MVC framework, so we are using Redux in the React. Got it. Okay. So we'll have some projects where we use both or no? We will be doing all projects in both, Redux and React. Okay, Sorry, using maybe, both. Yeah, maybe I, I said Redux means Redux and React. We okay. will be doing all the projects in Redux and React. Only one or two projects I will do in React to understand the React. And right. then once we start learning Redux, we will never do project in the React. We will do all project in Redux, Redux plus React. Got it. Got it. Okay. 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 Makes sense. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Combination yes, of Redux means combination of Redux and React. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. So now today we saw how to pass the state from one to this. I have, I have one notes also, you can refer that, but uh, whatever I explained that is there in that. Uh, this one, let me see, this is the one. I will give you the URL of that one. Okay. Maybe, maybe you can go through it. It's uh, for React? Yeah, whatever I did today, just okay. you can do okay. that one. That'll be great. I, I when I was teaching in the last class, I did it in the third March. You know this. Uh, you can see the date. You know I took another React class in the March month, mm-hmm. and uh, I created some notes for them. So I'm just sharing that notes with you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I have another URL also. You can go through both these uh, articles. Hmm and do whatever is written in these articles to, to practice whatever I did today. Okay. These articles are same as I did explain today. Okay, okay. So n- next time we will do the life cycle in the React. So what life is the- Life cycle. Right, life cycle is in the React and that we will do next time, okay? Okay. And if life cycle gets completed sooner because you are uh, getting it fast, other people in the class, they are very slow learner. You are fast learner. So if we complete that, then we will start with Ajax call, how to do Ajax call, we use in Aj- React. Hmm. And then, then once we do Ajax call, I will show you the routing. Hmm. And after routing, we'll do a couple of small projects very simple, small project to understand the React. Okay. And, and then we will move to Redux. Got it. Okay. 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 So this is uh, the plan for few sessions. Okay. So I will go over today's video because today's lecture was a little heavy. Uh, yeah. And yeah. then. I'll Gradually.